Fruit Troopers. I figure I'm not a legitimate VGN staff without showing off my stash. So, just to show you a little bit of what I got in my two boxes worth of beer. Um, here I have the Firestone Parabola, uh, Mirror Mirror 2009, this year is OK Jetty, a row of Abakai, pretty cool, and this year is Consecration and a Mexican Barley Wine by Kukapa. So, just to show you a little bit of what I got aging. So, anyways, let me go on with the beer that I'm going to review. Um, I wasn't planning on reviewing this until I drank a bottle of it, and I was like, I need to show you guys this. So, this is Alaskan Brewing's Smoked Porter, and it's not this year's, it's actually 2008. Uh, Whole Foods was selling it, and actually, all around the city, they were selling the 2008. And I figure, you know, it's probably going to be pretty interesting to try an aged beer that they're selling. Um, just to sh tell you a little bit about this porter, um, they use the traditional, um, was it, the alder smoking that they use typically for the Alaskan salmon. And so they did this alder smoking to the malts, which intensifies the flavor of the beer. And so, although it's a porter, it's got some smoky notes. And from what I heard and tasted, uh, the aging, even though it's only, what, 6.5? Yeah, 6.5%, it actually brought out a lot of the smoky flavors. So I just want to show you guys this beer, and assuming that this bottle is going to be the same as the other. Um, I want to show you guys the color, tell you the aroma, and show you how it tastes. Um, I put it against the light here, and it is barely see-through at all. I see a tinge of um, a ruby red against the light, but it's mostly not see-through. got a, about a one finger, one pinky worth of head. Um, let me go ahead and check the smell here. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely smoky, for sure. Um, it's no different than the bottle that I had. Um, definitely got that, like, wood chip, kind of smoked wood chip smell. Smoked malts, but there's the, the, the smell of the smoked wood chips, the alder, is very prevalent in this beer. And this is what they were talking about, how the 2008, or as you age this Alaskan, Alaskan Brewing's uh, smoked porter, um, it brings out the smokiness. And although the, the ABV isn't as high, it's still able to sell her. So that's, that's kind of cool. It doesn't always have to be one of these like 13% kind of stouts, you know? So let me go ahead and give it a try here. Come bite. Whoa. Yeah, wow. It's almost like, it almost feels like it's a stout because there's just, the, the flavor is so robust. Mmm. Yeah, man, the, the, yeah, the smokiness really is the main deal here. Um, this bottle isn't as smoky as the last bottle I had, but it's still there. It's definitely like, it's almost like, a Rausch beer, like a German Rausch beer, but um, this this definitely I enjoy this one a lot because it's smooth. It's really smooth. It doesn't have that thick malt grainy kind of thing going on. It's it's definitely a smooth porter. Uh, I don't know exactly what kind of style of porter. If it's like more like an English porter or an American porter, but it's definitely smooth. And the the, the smoke just definitely sticks out in this beer. Yeah, and you know what? It says here on the bottom, enjoy it now or age it for several years. So, it doesn't have to be 13%, like I said. Yeah, um, it says a recognized leader among the world's smoked beers. And, you know, I'm not a fan of smoked beers, kind of like uh, Peter of uh, Master of Hoppets is. But this one, this one, uh, I think I've had this one and, was it Nugna Ooze? No, no, it was Han uh, the, the Norwegian brewery. That smoked, uh, was it porter or stout? It was, their smoked beer was so nice. It was, I mean, I would put this and that, the Han Brigariets smoked porter just way up there. It, it's just it's so smooth, so much evenness in the flavor as this one has, and then the smoke is prevalent. Uh, of course, this one, as it's aged, the, the smokiness of the smoked alder 
comes out more. Um, I actually like this than typical uh, smoked beers or Rausch, especially German Rausch beers. This, this one just comes out organically, naturally, just because of it, it aging. I think I had this before um, when it was fresh, but you know, it, it was definitely good, but I happen to like this a little better, and I'm not a fan of smoked beers either. So, mm. yeah, it just almost seems like the the, the, the mouthfeel just gets bigger, small carbonation, but right away, right off the bat, even this different bottle that I, that I have, a lot of smoke characters, not so much peaty, but definitely smoked flavor for sure. So, if you could somehow get a hold of this, I mean, in San Francisco we still have it in a couple stores, but yeah, if you could find Alaskan Brewing Smoke Porter 2008, or an aged one, or buy one in Asia, it's definitely worth the aging because it's so interesting how the beer changes and it just brings out multiple layers that's that's just underneath and it just seems to come out as you age it. So, yeah. So like I said, Alaskan Brewing Smoke Porter 2008. Either buy that or age it. I highly recommend it. And I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Kampai!